Hey guys, welcome to Hot Moon Financial, the home of everything that rocks. I am Mel O, your CFP. For today's 420 solution, we're going to talk about savings and specifically, is it possible for you to save too much money? And when we're going to talk about savings, we're going to talk about it in the aspect of budgeting. So anytime you set up a budget, typically the rule of thumb is that you want to save five to 10% of your monthly income into savings. Now, at some point, if you continue to do this, you're going to have a decent amount of money in savings. So at what point do you stop? So think of it this way. You ever see those guys that go to the gym and they're super hulked out and they're working out two to three hours a day and they just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. They can't brush their hair. They can't scratch their back. I mean, seriously, at what point is that enough? So when we're talking about savings, the general rule of thumb is this. If you have two people working in the household, you want to save enough money to pay for all of your fixed bills. So this would be mortgages, rents, utilities, car insurance, etc. Plus all of your discretionary, which would be groceries, gas in your car, as well as your fun money, going to concerts, going to movies, whatever. So two people working in the household, you wanna make sure that in the savings account, not an investment, an FDIC insured savings account, that you have three months worth of uh, lifestyle and fixed income expenses. If you are a single person working in the home, you wanna move that number to six, okay? So you wanna make sure you have six months worth of all of those expenses so that in the event that something catastrophic happens or something like that, that you can go and you can take care of yourself and not have any type of issues. You can continue to save after that, but my question is to you, what are you saving for specifically? So if you're saving to put money down on a house, knock yourself out. If you're saving to put cash down on a, a car, knock yourself out. But what ends up happening is that once you've hit your threshold of three to six months, you end up losing uh, buying power uh, with your money. So what ends up happening in savings accounts is that savings accounts do not outpace inflation historically. And you are actually paying taxes on your savings account. And this was covered in a previous 420 solution when we talked about tax deferment. So you have money, dead money, in my opinion, sitting in a savings account that you're paying taxes on and that is not beating inflation. So once you hit your three to six month marker, what I'd actually recommend is that you look at what is your primary objective, your financial goal for 2018. Do you want to pay off debt? Do you want to go out and have fun? Do you want to go shopping? You want to redo your wardrobe? Whatever you want to do. But after you hit your three to six month period in, in savings, if you're not doing something profitable with that money, like putting it in an investment vehicle that typically can earn you a higher return, and in some cases can help um, eliminate any of the, the taxes depending on the investment structure that you put in, maybe that's gonna be a better source for your money. So as we continue through the 420 solution for January, we're gonna be talking about the fundamentals for you to be able to put a budget in place that is gonna be sticky so that you can make sure that as you move through 2018, you're on target for your financial objectives. So if you have any questions or you want to tell me how great I am, feel free to hit me up at Twitter at Mel Rocks Money, or you can always email me, mel at hotmoonfinancial.com. Rock on. And remember, guys, budget for the fun stuff. Life is unpredictable. Enjoy yourself. Peace.